Hey, you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Uh, this is a student question where we're solving for A. We're just going to manipulate this e equation for that lowercase a specifically. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the main objective of this whole thing is to get the a by itself. And again, specifically, that's the lowercase a. So first thing we want to do is get rid of all of this extra garbage uh, by moving to the other side and using the inverse operations. So let's start with that one half. If I multiply both sides by two, and of course on the right we could make that two over one just to show that it's reciprocated. Well then the twos and really the ones cancel out here and we're left with 2a equals h times the quantity a plus b. Now we're treating this quantity a plus b as its own quantity because really it is and that has to do with the parentheses around it which does make it its own quantity. So we still have that h, we need to get rid of it. It's being multiplied by that a plus b. The inverse operation is to divide both sides then by h. And now we're left with this, 2a over h equals a plus b. And I can get rid of the parentheses now, which should make this a little bit less confusing. And hopefully from this we can see that to get the a by itself, we now need to subtract a b from both sides. So now I show that, and of course, a positive b minus b gives us a total value of 0. And this is what we have now. We have 2a over h minus b equals a. That's it. That's as far as we need to go for that. And we can kind of square that in just to show what exactly the answer is. So we've solved for a. We, find out, we found out what a equals from our original equation and manipulated it to be what we want it to be. So we could have solved for b as well. You could solve for just h, but of course it's going to look just a little bit different. But essentially the process is the same. We're looking for those inverse operations. And by the way, just because some of you guys realized, uh, this is how you guys would find the area, that, which is why that's a capital A, You'd find the area of a trapezoid this way, uh, where a and b, the lowercase ones, are the base values of the trapezoid. Not that it really matters, but uh, of course, uh, maybe later on we'll use that. But if you wanted to find just the value of one of the bases of a trapezoid, this is the formula down here that you would use. All right, thanks for watching. I hope it helped.